Hello, my dear friends, and today we're gonna start uh, talking about how to create your first project. I'm not talking like how you can do it in Revit, it's actually simple, you can find a lot of the tutorials in my channel. I'm gonna talk about the coordination. When you have the build, build, big building or building with some other buildings, like say, let's say like three buildings in one complex, uh, you should coordinate it. So this is what about will be topic today. We will talk about the coordination and how you can coordinate your model easily. Doesn't matter you have totally huge building or maybe like only two buildings. The way of coordination will be pretty same. Here just sample. You have the one building, you have the another building here, here and here, and you should have somehow coordinate it. Yes, you can start create it in one Revit file, but it's impossible to manage after one week because you will get totally huge file, biggest than one gigabyte. So as you understand, you cannot use the such a big file in Revit properly. And let's start from the Revit. Here I already have like three files. I already did it uh, for this uh, tutorial. I have the file coordinate. I have the file building one, building A. Okay, so let's start from the coordinate. What is that file? What does that mean coordinate? Here we should put our coordination point on the right position. Just I will say it's not on the right position. I will show you why I did it and I will show you why it's matter because you should understand properly what's going on with the, um, this point. Before I will continue my tutorial, I have a good news. Now you can become my sponsor just in YouTube. Just go to the, my channel. Here you will find the, the link by join to the be my sponsorship. And that's it. You can become my sponsor. I hope you will support me. Anyway, we continue our tutorial. Right now we don't need our coordination file. I'm going to show you an example. Let me, I will show you by the my files for example the building a we're going now to the building a and as you understand here is our building a what and i want i want loaded inside to the building a my building b and it should be placed on the same position here how we will do that just by insert link revit and here you will choose your building and by shared coordinates everything all right all right let's me i'll say okay and as you can see it's building it's not here building and here and rotated why because actually they're different coordinate this is the problem yes of course you can select your building and try to just uh, rotate it place it on this side somehow you will get a result but it's not right way we will do everything right so how you can place it in your building uh, i mean on your side right one thing before you will start project start to make coordination file and coordinate all of the files with the model if you will do that on the last stage it will be hard because your building will be already not empty your building will be huge and uh, it will be hard to rotate it hard to align it so do it as fast as you can but we will back to the our files and I, I will show you how you can start it i will do the first thing i will delete this link i don't need it I don't have it any uh, any links right now and I don't need this site right now also I will close it and I will open the my coordination file here's my coordination file and what we will start here first I want to see the my site so you can just click on the site or you just can click here on reveal hidden elements up to you for example let's use the reveal hidden elements and you will see your project base point the first thing when you starting with the uh, creating your project, you have the some standards how you will do that. By my own standard, by standard in my company, what we choosing the our starting grid line. For example, for me here will be it's A A1. What I'm doing? I just selecting my project base points and I placing there. I'm placing there. As you can see now the my uh, project base points have the some uh, some data and this data showing the how it's far from this point but let's say my project starting from the zero exactly zero I, i'm not starting from the exactly point on somewhere in your uh, in your city so i'm starting exactly from the zero it means i also should put my survey point uh, also the to the one and to the a let me I will place to the one to the A. And now if I will select my 
project base point, it will be totally zero. Zero, 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 and rotation, it will be also zero. So everything okay, everything all right. And let's, I will uh, unhide everything and I will save my project. I save it. So the second thing what I'm gonna do, I will go to the each my files here. I will go now to the file uh, A and I will do the same thing there. I will place it exactly to the one and to the A. So my file is loading, where is the file? Okay, here's my file. And as you can see, my points, it's on the other sides. And if I will select, even have the same angle. So this is not right for us because as you know, the, our angle is zero. You can check it by your coordination file. If you're not sure, let's leave it so 45. Let's say we'll leave it here as the 45, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will show you how you can uh, do everything right in your coordination file. Let's place it exactly to the A1 and A1. And as you understand, we didn't change here the angle. Here is the point. Let's save our building. Now let's go to the uh, our the second building, uh, the building B. I will delete just this copy, I don't need it. Here is my building B. Let me load it up. Here is my building B. I also going to the site location. And as you can see, the my point also not on the right position. Let me, I will also place it on the right position. And here I also will place it on the right position. Done. So now we know our grid, our uh, grid for the our building, complex building, in it uh, everywhere on the right position. Let me, I will save it. And now let's open the coordination file. Let me, I will open the coordinate file here. And now we will load inside to the coordinate file our linked Revit files. So I will start from the uh, building A. As you can see by shared coordinates, let's say OK. Let's load it inside. They're asking uh, which the shared coordinates we want to use. I will use the standard one internal. Let's use the internal and as you can see A1, A1 for the both, both I mean the coordination file and my um, building A, it's exactly same, but angle is not right. It's not problem for us. Just select your building A, as you can see here is building A selected and use rotation, rotate, place and rotate from this position to this position, rotate it. Now, the Revit asking us, do we want to save it? Yes, save it. And let's save it one more time. So what does it mean? If you will go now to the building A, inside to the building A coordinate, uh, the rotating of coordinate will be zero, not will be 45 degree. Okay, so let's uh, link the building B by sharing coordinates. And as you can see, building B doesn't have any problem. It's exactly on the same position, but it's not true. I didn't show you one more thing. If you will go now to the elevation, any elevation, let's say to the east view. Let me go to the elevation east view. As you can see, my building number A have, does, uh, have different elevation than building number B. As you can see, it's both have the level zero, but here is the level zero, zero it's uh, 600 millimeters and here is zero. The problem is the building B. We should change elevation of this building. How I understand it? Let's go back to the reveal hidden element and as you can see if I will select these points, this is building B and the survey points of this building B it's different by 3000 millimeters. So we should uh, make it clear in um, our building B. So we should go inside to the building B. Let me, I will go inside to the building B. For that one, I will first, I will go to the manage links and I will unload or just let's, let me, I will remove this building first. Now I will go to the building B. At least my building B is here. After that, I will go to the east view, for example. And here I should change I should change this point because the our points should be starting from this level. It's not it, uh, from the level zero. So first I will just move it, this point also to this position. 
and this points also to this that position too. Okay, because uh, our building starting exactly from the zero. If you, you're the second part of the building starting not from zero, it's starting from the 500 millimeter, you will change position of this thing. And of course, as you can see, it will be changing on the level zero. Level will be the same, but the height of the level will be different. Okay, we're done with that. Let's, let me, I will save it. Let me, I will go to the side, to the east view. It will be better. Manage links, add, and let's add the building B. Let me, I will add the building B. Oh, I cannot load it because uh, it's still opened. So you should close it. I already closed it. And let me, I will load it again. Let me say OK. And as you can see, it's now on the different position. My building A here, my building B here. Why? Because I didn't change my elevation of the um, uh, survey point. Don't worry, you don't need to open it again. Just use a line, a line one level to the another level, save it. And as you can see, we changed the position. Yeah, this is not, uh, not so right, but uh, you should go back and change your survey point if you want to, if you need to. But now your building will be exactly staying on exactly on the same position. Even if you will delete it from here, let me I will delete it as you can see it not here and load it again. Let me load it again by sharing points as you can see. And as you can see, it's placing on the exactly same position. That's why you need a coordination file. Coordination file is empty file only with grids where you can manage your old building. You can upload here any of your building and just manage it. For example, in one day you understand like you should rotate it on the 45 degree. It will be hard to go to the each model. But here what you can do. Here you will just unload all the links. Just unload. Don't, don't, don't use the remove. Unload it. Go to the survey point, where is the my survey point, and say here the 45 degree. Okay, done. Now our uh, building rotating on the 45 degree. Yes, you can say I cannot see it, but if you will change orientation from project north to the true north, you will see it's 45 degree right now. Okay, and let's load it again, our buildings. Let's load it again, reload it. Let's say okay. And as you can see, our building it doesn't change position. So what you can do in this, uh, in this situation, I will show you. You can easily just move it, yes? For example, here is my one building. We know the uh, where is the, our grid line. You can use the A line, A line A with A and A line one with one, done. Again, the same thing with that one, A with A, I one with one, done. Our building is here. After that, go just to the coordination, Publish coordination, use the file one and file two and save it. And Revit asking us, if you will save, you will transfer your new coordination to the building A. Yes, I want to. And if you will save, you will transfer your new coordination to the building B. Yes, I want to. Done. Let me, I will. Uh, just again, I will remove these files. I will just show you is it work, is it working or no. Manage files, add, and here is building for A, shared by coordinates as you can see. Okay, A and yeah, I want to use the internal one, and let's say okay. And as you can see, same position. Let me I will do the same thing with the building B, and as you can see, the same position. If you're not clear with this topic, just let me know below the comments. I will try to show you each way to how to coordinate model in Revit. And we will see from the all the sites how you can mm, manage your model by coordination in Revit. But for today it's finished. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Don't forget about the likes and share this video. You will help me by these few things. Thank you and see you next time.